what's up love squad and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be making a wig for you guys um, what I usually do is um, sometimes I like to switch up my style so today I'll be using some hair that I've never used before and the hair is called Bella Teak hair if I'm not mistaken um, with this hair I got um, 10 inches because this will be um, a bob style and I picked up two bundles of the 10 inch as well as um, a closure full lace closure and what I normally do um, is sew my wig on this dome cap here and this is um, a mesh dome cap and I prefer the mesh dome cap over the other ones because it allows your scalp to breathe a bit and I just have the basic uh, mannequin head here that I usually sew my wigs on and you can find it for about I think I found this one for about $5.99 at my local beauty supply as well as some simple thread just black thread and I use um, this more of a J needle I don't know if you guys could see that I'm more used to J needle I don't like that curved needle so I usually go with this um, type of needle and when you take your dome caps out guys it comes with this um, little V in, in, in the front at least I use this for the front of my wigs and it's a little different in the back so what I normally do is I place the cap on my mannequin with that V in the front and I use these T-pins which if you sew wigs you know all about these type of pins it's just a T-pin you guys can see that and I secure the wig on my mannequin when you first start to sew your wig you're going to want to start at the nape of the cap, the back of the cap. And you're gonna simply take your hair and start sewing. And as you sew, you're gonna flip, I do the flip over method. I don't like to cut my hair because it reduces the amount of shedding of the hair. So I basically go in and I start sewing and then I flip my hair over and I go across and then I flip my hair over and I go across and I continue this process until I get to the top of um, my cap but the first thing I'm going to do is apply my closure so now let me give you a few of the specs on the hair um, like I said guys this is 10 inches these are what the bundles look like um, the hair is 100% virgin Brazilian hair and um, the bundles are pretty thick you guys can see that pretty full and this is my closure mm, has the baby hair here like I said you know I could take a leave and it's in the color natural black so guys because I'm not sure if I'll be rocking the middle part or side part um, I went ahead and just lined it up to the middle you know with the bridge of her nose and I put a t-pin in the front as well as a t-pin in the back to hold that on the hair you can see here I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing this closure on my cap And you'll notice if I make an error in uh, my 
videos. I try not to edit a lot because the way I think, I think if I was a beginner, I'm probably going to make some of these same mistakes. And I would like to know, oh my goodness, do I start over? Do I cut the thread out? What do I do? You keep it moving. Okay, guys, I've finished my closure. And so basically now I'm going to start um, the process of starting the back of my hair. So basically what I did was I went ahead and took a bundle and started pinning it from one side of the um, dome cap to the other side of the dome cap. And I'm just going to go in and just start sewing these onto the um, mannequin.
you're completed um, sewing your wig, all of your tracks on there, you just want to go in and take your scissors and you're just going to cut inside of that cap. Be careful not to cut your um, lace. This is the finished result of my um, wig and we're going to turn it around so we can see the back and this is 10 inches of body wave and um, this is not super thick hair it's more of a fine to medium hair is great for the spring and the summer and the curl pattern is really nice I'm probably gonna eventually cut it into a bob into a very blunt bob cut and if I do I'll do um, either get ready with me or tutorial and as I said before I'm thinking about dyeing her a very soft blonde kind of flirty for the spring and summer so I hope this tutorial help um, some of the beginners out it's simple it's very um, easy nothing too complicated and don't forget to tell me what you think give me some feedback okay guys until next time